Praise the Lord. Diseases, floods, famine, earthquake, war or rumors of war. Are you seeing and relating all these to end times? If you are a believer, you know that God had already gave a vision of what is going to happen before the second coming of Christ. When you look at Matthew 24, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen, and what will be the sign of your coming and at the end of the age? Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. You will hear of a wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then all the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, with power, and great glory. Whether the signs or messages seems to be fulfilling or not, but the main thing we should know. Are we ready for the return of Christ? There can be one of us still holding grudges in our heart, still hating someone, still cursing someone. We need to test ourselves where we stand as a believers. Have we left our old life and born again truly? Do we love our enemy and pray for them as said by God in Bible? Do we still lie? Do we still cheat? Do we get angry? These things to be realized and repent ourselves before the return of Lord. However every mankind should understand that human body can be burned into ashes, but the spirit lives. It either goes to heaven or hell. There is truly life after death for spirit. Before it's too late every human on earth should realize the truth. And the truth is that there is a real creator who created heavens and earth and all that lives on earth. Then he created man and woman. But the sad part is most of the humans worship the creation instead of the creator. In many ways, God tried to show us he is the true living God and the only holy one. Even now there are many miracles and healings all over the world by his mercy and grace. People turned away from the real God and started worshipping the lie. And that's when he decided to come to earth to sacrifice himself for all mankind for their sins. And so whoever believes in Jesus and accept him as God, their spirit will be saved after they die, as God is a spirit. If you read 2 Chronicles 7:14, God says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. On 1 John 1:9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Acts 2.38 and Acts 3.19 Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent, then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. All 
Also, if you read, Deuteronomy 4.29-31, but from there you will seek the Lord, your God and you will find Him, if you search after Him, with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in tribulation, and all these things come upon you, in the latter days, you will return to the Lord your God and obey His voice. For the Lord your God, is a merciful God. He will not leave you, or destroy you, or forget the covenant with your fathers, that He swore to them. Therefore beloved people, this is a chance once again God is giving to come back to Him. To know that He is our Lord. We pray for you and your family, and friends for the salvation. May God's grace and peace be upon you. Praise the Lord.